Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Tarot Odyssey. I just noticed the beautiful light coming in through the window, so I thought I would start my read right away to capture the light because it looks like beautiful twinkling fairy lights and it's very restful. So today's read is going to be about your love and life partner, when, where you'll possibly marry, their age, zodiac, and traits. Okay, and we have three cards to choose from. Number one has a 48 on it, Yod. This is about destiny. Two is Venus in love. It has a number four on it. And three is has a number 49 on it. It says Jupiter returns and benefits. So I'm going to let you make your choices. I don't want to get too far from the microphone. Okay, again, this is your life partner. Where, when you'll marry, possible age, and all the little deets, anything that comes up. Okay, so I am going to give these a good shuffle and say what's going on. Oh my goodness, this, this morning was so funny. I had to lock the kittens up because they get so excited that they just start to pounce on everything and it gets really, really absurd. Okay, so let's give these a shuffle to see what the, um, you know, first I'm going to do their zodiacs. Oh, look at that. So we have a possible Leo. I always do two for these because I always think that there's this kind of synergy that comes in when things are, you know, just tilted on a certain axis and anything can happen. So I like a little bit of variance in the zodiac. So the possible zodiacs are both fire signs, Leo and Sagittarius. So Leos are great. They are full of charm. They are wonderful. As Sagittarius, you can take them anywhere. In any social grouping, they seem to get on with anybody. They are super, super charming. Now, some wonderful attributes to your fella or female is trust and and romance. So they're very romantic. They're continually going to have a gorgeous atmosphere of romance, you know, candles, beautiful food. They're very sensual, also very trustworthy. They are not cheaters. What they say they're going to do, they're going to do. Very honest and upright. I love that. So I'm seeing as clear as two months can be, and this is happening this summer. So many soulmate matches are coming in. So two months looks like the time frame. Very, very 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 soon right wow shuffle in now here's the age difference i believe there can be a four year age difference i always feel like this is four and under sometimes there's a big variation but i feel like this is four years um older and this is some of their um personality too they're quite fearless and bold i feel like they've um become sort of masters of their field of work so they're very independent and prideful and you know they have this fearlessness about them because they've succeeded in the past so they know that um things are achievable and let me see what's going on too right now i am gonna just do this special pull for an animal this gives me a little bit of insight for sure so butterfly spirit what i'm hearing i was asking about a locale of your possible um marriage and when that might occur and i'm hearing two i'm hearing two years within meeting they are committed to you quite quickly right away but i believe it's slightly over a year a year and a half before they propose and then two years of when you're married from that date and i feel like um it's in your local community because the majority of your family is around there. And there's a possibility that they're actually from a foreign country or an opposite coast or area. If it's in the U.S., they're quite far from you. So a few of their family is um, flown in, but it is in on your home turf and where the majority of your family is. Oh, that's beautiful energy. And I feel like there's very few challenges as well because um, they're very adjustable and malleable to your schedule. So there isn't a lot of, you know, complications, which is really nice. So beautiful energy group one. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below if you need a private read or any of that. Yeah, fire signs. And also this is one of the most important elements to have in a relationship is trust because um, we don't want to be looking over our shoulder and checking phones like some people feel um, challenged to do. You know, you just really want it to have a lovely element of a solid foundation, right? Beautiful. So now we're going to go on to group two, which is Venus in love. And we're going to see, give these a shuffle. Oh my gosh. 
So I am asking for, okay, so this is what I'm seeing as a proposal date is actually 19 months from um, meeting them, which is wonderful. I really like that. And again, look how close this is. Ace is one. This is within a month or so. Sometimes when there's a, a monthly thing, I feel like that time can be pushed back just slightly if there's too much hesitation, hesitation, doubt, or anxiety about, you know, oh, I'm not ready, the preparedness. A lot of people start to get lack mentality and get fear when things are so close. But there's no need for that because, um, you know, all is well. We have to realize that these gifts are brought to us um, in divine timing and to be accepting and allow I'd like to get some signs so this is a possible Capricorn very lovely or Libra so two remarkably calm staid signs very responsible Capricorns they always you know they make sure their bills are paid they are very organized they're very solid grounded people they're not taken to flights of fancy or exaggeration very honest for sure. And Libra, again, I mean, one of the most beautiful signs for writers and poets. And again, total great equilibrium with these people. They think before they speak, you know, they look before they leap. They're a very sound mind and judgment. So you don't have a lot of ups and downs and craziness and arguments with that, you know, with that going on. Because oftentimes, if we're with somebody like fire signs can be a little bit, you know, <laughs> up and down and zigzagging. I'm a fire sign and we can be mo super highly um, emotional at times, but I feel like these two signs are very grounded. So here is the age difference, two years older I'm feeling than you. And I definitely feel there's a component of with this that every single day you discover new things about them. I mean, I feel like they have a really, really multi-layered past where they did remarkable things and they don't just come out of the gate saying, you know, I won this, I, I have a Pulitzer, I did this and that. They're very quiet and humble about their accomplishments, but they're many and varied. This person, I feel like that's with Libra so much anyway. Some of their personality traits are super generous. I mean, they can't do enough for you. If they have money in the bank, they will spend it on whatever you want. They will give you choice like for your family vehicle. They let you pick stuff like that. Again, responsible and practical. That's a Capricorn to a T. And I feel like they are going to have continued success in their business and be excellent providers con continually throughout life. You're not going to have any economic worries for sure. And you also, this is another personality tra trait, very tenderhearted, um, patient and loving. Like they are always going to lend a very soulful ear to what you're saying, what you're feeling, and just be a lovely dynamic in the family, an excellent parent, super, super uber patient. Because when we realize that all there is, is really love and good behavior, right? When we have skills and qualities and craftsmanship and all those things, it's like we have a kind of mental clarity that says, you know, we can always create, we can always provide. And it, it stops any, you know, self doubt this and these two signs, they're, they're not the time, they're not the type that they're gregarious, or they care how things appear, they care how things are. So they're always going to have new ideas ideas and fantastic job opportunities. You guys, I also feel in this grouping, you're going to have wonderful friendships throughout your life as well. You know, very little conflict, just really good friends because you both are going to be attracting really good um, energy due to your vibrations. You know, your vibe attracts your tribe and your both your vibes are going to be super high in your frequency. You're going to have this life where you're always showing gratitude and generosity. So it provides this fantastic um, peaceful life for you. So I love that gorgeous. And again, I'm feeling like the first group too that um, where you'll marry is sort of in your home area, it, you know, because I feel like the majority of your family is around there. And you know, you have family, they're going to help you arrange it and do that. And because you know, they want to please you, they're letting you choose and you want to be with a bulk of your family and friends are so very lovely, gorgeous energy. Group two, if you're new to the channel, Thank you for watching today. And don't forget to press like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you hit the little gray arrow, it'll bring you down to all my links. You can come see me on Instagram at sparkrist11. I do daily posts and I communicate with people through that. If you need a private read, past life, love, soulmate, whatever, or more information on this, just let me know. I get more and more details sometimes after I do reads. 
I'll get these high visuals of people and actually be able to envision what they look like. So that is you guys. I love this lighting so much. It's like, it's, it's twinkly, but it switches and it makes me crazy because one moment it'll be gorgeous all over the, the objects and the cards and then it'll fluctuate depending on where the, the trees are. Okay, so that's you guys. Lovely, lovely energy. So now we're going to go on to number three, which is Jupiter returns and benefits. So let's see. Let me get these. First, I'm going to ask for your signs. So we get choose from the deck up here. Wow. So possible Taurus and or Pisces. Beautiful. So you have two gorgeous signs here. You have, you know, Taurus, who's very grounded, self-sufficient, self-reliant. Um, yeah, very, I feel like they're so low maintenance Tauruses. If they want something or need, have a need, they totally take care of it. But they are sentimental and beautiful. And Pisces are highly, highly intuitive. They're the dreamy, beautiful, gorgeous, um, gypsy types. Everyone I've ever met, they're very individual, super smart. You know, besides Aquarius, I've got to say cerebrally, this is probably one of the smartest signs. I mean, their brain is just like... Phew, it's amazing. It's like a steel trap. They don't forget anything. And they're beautiful with their sentimental and they love to cook. They have, you know, high quality craftsmanship in what they do. Um, uh, really, really romantic group, groups too, for sure. So yeah, I love that. So we're also going to see in terms of a time frame. I see. So this group, I feel like you're going to um, be meeting them under six months for sure. And the cool thing is, I feel that, you know, the proposal is like not super, super far off that I've got to give these. Yeah, see 12 a year off. I feel like you're together for only about 12 months and they just know you're the one they pretty much know from the beginning, but they're trying to play cool about it. You know, they don't want to put everything on blast for sure. We're going to see also what some of their personality traits are. And then we'll go find out for the age too. So take a leap of faith. These people are very, um, they're very bold and very adventurous. They definitely believe and have faith in the universe and opportunities and the whole dynamic of us all being energetically entwined by all these gorgeous psychic threads where we help one another. You know that feeling of when you think really good thoughts about something, kind of good things come to you and those in your area because you're wishing them well and you're seeing everything as this beautiful, rich tapestry of giving and sharing all that thing. This is their kind of MO. They're constantly thinking like that. But see, magic too, they have a kind of magic um, fairy-like element of them. They're very light and spry and athletic and um, just always smiling and always up to some creative task as well, which I feel is important in, in life. So here's our age spread. I'm feeling that they're four years your senior and um, just very staid and solid. And you look to them for solid advice too, because they never get um, entwined in anything that's overly dramatic. Like they simply, they're not going to take part in that they just are, you know, they're very relaxed. And here's some more of their qualities. They're very skilled at what they do and they get rewarded financially. So I feel like there's always going to be, you know, an abundance of funds around. You're never going to have a problem with that. Um, they definitely are highly spiritual. Yeah, see, let spirit be your guide. They have this sense. They understand karma. They understand reincarnation and all those beautiful things that um, just keep coming around and it can regenerate our spirit when we, you know, sometimes feel lower, feel hardships. We remember and they remember and remind you everything is temporary. You know, everything is new and shiny again. When we wake up, we get a new chance. It's like a new birth every day. So they will always remind you, listen, think positive. When you do that, you change your actual inside chemistry. You know, you get more dopamine and serotonin, all those feel good drugs. You know, you, you don't worry about things when you're busy being happy. You're not worried about little things that might never happen you know they're really good at that but again another thing about them is they're very scholarly and dependable patient and successful for sure I feel like you guys I'm already hearing um destination wedding they are very very um well endowed in the cashola department so they are willing to fly your relatives and they and and that you guys decide on some gorgeous destination wedding in the islands, I just feel like it's very tropical. It could perhaps be um, Mexico on the coast. It's something like that. I just feel lots of warm sun dancing, all this beautiful electric energy. But it's one of those things where, you know, they worked very hard and they had an excess of money through inheritances as well. So they really want to treat you and make you feel special and, um, 
Yeah, it's like I just see your family being so proud of you for waiting because I feel this particular group in the past, you've had some rough relationships and some of you have already, you know, you've been divorced, you're single mothers, um, single fathers, you've um, had relationships where people completely decided, you know, um, they were the boss, they were ruling the roost and they were, you know, they diminished you in quite a few ways and you decided, you know what, that's not this life I'm about. I'm about, you know, somebody respecting and loving me and you stood up and some of the other people you created a void with boyfriends that were there before and you were like, no, nope. you know, you understand that there are prince and princess charmings everywhere and that you're not going to settle for less. The cat is up here eating. Look, look, look. I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to get get him eating his flowers. Hey, what are you doing over there? Look at him. Is he just the bomb.com? He's a devilish little bugger. I love him so. So again, thank you guys for all your beautiful comments. And we hit over 25,000 subscribers yesterday. And thanks to all the contest participants and winners. You guys are amazing. And thank my patrons and all of you guys. You're amazing. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And all my links are down below. If you need a private read, if you want to go to my Etsy store and check out all my sparkly jewels, I specialize in really gorgeous rings and crowns and necklaces all made from, um, you know, genuine stones because I definitely believe in the properties of them. So everything's down below there. And I just want to wish you guys a fantastic weekend and next week and to just sort of luxuriate and some time off, get in the sun, relax, treat yourself well, you know, like the precious, beautiful, energetic beings you are. Provide yourself with some gorgeous rest time because we all need it, right? So love and light.